This is a Necky three-quarter horsepower um, freezer compressor. Normally runs on Freon 22, but the newer ones can run on uh, 404A or 507 um, and get quite a bit more capacity. At that point, it probably goes up to almost one horsepower in capacity. Now, I've been using it for a few months on an air compressor. Um, this one over here. It's been working well, but it takes a little bit more amperage than I would normally like to see on this, about 4.8. The smaller Danfoss ones only take about two, two and a half. Now what happened the other night, the main fuse blew on the apartment. Now, I've been in this place 15 years and the main fuse had never gone, and I actually never found out where it was, but it's not in the building. It's in a hallway on the other side of the building. So having found it and replaced it, I decided to look a bit more closely at just what had happened to this compressor. Well, it turned out uh, it seized. And because it wouldn't get away, it took a bit more than the 25 amp main fuse on the circuit breaker. And the circuit breaker was a bit lazy, it didn't trip in time. Oh, it trips okay now, it was just the first time it operated, it didn't go down in time, so it took out the main fuse. So this one is dead. Uh, what I have on here is a Danfoss SC12. It's about 7 16th of a horsepower. Uh, I've grafted it onto an Airmax uh, air tank, which is good insofar as it has the feature on the bottom, uh, this little spigot here, which can be used to purge off uh, collected oil and water. In other words, as any standard commercial uh, air compressor would have. These can be added to the homemade ones if you want by putting an extra ventil on the bottom and depressing it with a screwdriver. But not many people bother with this, they just turn it upside down and empty it out through the uh, jet. So what I'm doing now, uh, because its recycle speed is a little bit longer because it takes so longer to fill this larger tank. The tank certainly gives it more capacity, but the compressor gets rather hot during that time. And if you try and restart it again within about two minutes, it usually stalls. It needs about five minutes to settle before it will restart again. So what I'm doing is cycling between this one and this other model down here, which is also an SC12, uh, until I finish it. Again, I'm using the air bank here, um, another three air tanks, which are also intended for um, a higher pressure gas. The new gases they're using in refrigeration now are so much higher pressure that the wall thickness is considerably greater. So, the fact is, they will rust out eventually, um, but they last a lot longer and they're safer. Now, there is, in fact, a bursting disc on all of these. This device you see here is made from a thinner gauge sheet metal. So if the tank should uh, reach a pressure which is greater than the tank will take, it doesn't explode the tank. In fact, the only twice in the fact that these discs have burst, they don't burst with an almighty bang, they just tend to lift in one corner and start relieving the pressure. In fact, the guy at first noticed this phoned me and said he could hear a hissing sound coming from the compressor and it seems to run more often. When I went round, I found out precisely that. One corner had lifted. So I took it out and put another tank on there. So as I say, these things are a compromise between cost and efficiency and quietness. Um, there is one company in Italy, yeah, Italy who manufacture them, but they're very expensive. I'm going to choose whether you think it's worth investing that sort of money because uh, one of these regular uh, air compressors, which are extremely noisy, I this sort of arrangement. I do have one, but I won't use it on weekends. It's far too noisy. And then most, uh, but they're not really suitable for small shops. The noise is too great. In fact, what I've noticed, most people that make use of these small air compressors are doing small electronic uh, device repairs. And they require uh, just a small burst of air occasionally to keep things clean. It's not like spraying paint where it's continuous use. So normally, under their usage, the compressor has plenty of time to recycle and refill. What I've done on this one is an attempt to increase or reduce its recycle time uh, to restart. I'm using um, one of the 3-in-1 starters uh, for a half-horsepower compressor 
and also an SPP6 uh, capacitor which is a, a hard start or reduced current starting device for an air conditioning unit but it's connected in parallel with the uh, start and run winding and it does reduce the start amperage slightly again this is just something I happen to have lying around so I thought I'd give it a try and see how it works not everybody would want to go to that much trouble I'm sure